Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a picture which is a bit of a problem in a way. And it's because it, the, the light across it is, is just flat. It, it, it's dull. Um, the histogram it fills up the spectrum here. It's not all just sort of squished up to one end where you could do something with that. So what could you do? Well, let's try curves. If we can put an S on this, it usually brings in a bit of a contrast. Um, and it's, yeah, the white's coming up, but it's still, it's still pretty dull, isn't it? So now let's not try that. How about going for some colour contrast? One way to do that is to go to HSL. And here we could do things like pick colours. So I pick the red for the red here and if I say turn up the saturation a bit on that and maybe the lightness uh, you could work with other colors as well what I'll go to the the white there so the yellow you can play around that and that's sort of improving it but there's something still missing about it so I like this idea of selecting colors and then doing something with those individual ones so another way you can do that, in a similar sort of way, is go to the selective colour. Now what we've got here, when we do a drop down here, we can select in the same way as we did with HSL. We've also got whites, neutrals and blacks as well. So now we can work with those different shades, the tones, not just the colours. But what we'll do is we'll look at the colours first. So when I've got reds here, this means reds are selected. So if I move something here, you can see that the reds are the ones which are going to change. So we look at things. What can we do with this? Well, we could make the reds a little bit brighter. So remember, these are kind of backwards controls. So this is red, green and blue. And if I go to the left, it actually increases reds. If I go to the right, it decreases reds. So I bring the reds up and you can come all the way over here even and see this has brought the red out already in that. And the thing to do with this is just try it as you go down here. So if I go that way, then I'm actually increasing the orange a bit in this and I'm doing the increasing orange by turning down green and pushing the yellow more towards a red, which makes it more orange. You don't have to really understand why, but that's that's why. Let me try this one here. No, I don't think anything we're going to do with that. That's OK. And you can go to the blacks, put a bit of darkness into that. Maybe we can play with that. OK, and we just go down this here. Yellows. Do you want to do anything to yellows? Are there any yellows here? Just wave this up and down a bit and see There's some in there, but we've already done more on this. Maybe I'll just actually make that yellow just a little bit darker. That's fine. What about greens? I don't know much of the way any greens in here. There's just that there. So I'll make that just a bit darker there. That's just those bits there. What about cyans? Now this is going to be interesting because we've got cyan in here. So I've moved this up and down just to see where it is. There it is. So maybe if I turn up the cyan in that, I'll make that a little bit stronger. No, the answer is because it's a, because it's already up high, I can't take it much further. I could go down that way, which will increase the reds, which reduces the opposite colour, which is cyan's. Well, that's not so good. But I could also increase cyan by playing with the opposite colours here. So if I increase green, that's going to make that more cyan. But I think I'd like to make it a bit more more of a blue shade of, of it. So can I bring this the blue up here? No, the, if it won't go any further, it's because the blue is already as high as it can go. So blues. And if I try these here, what am I going to do? Maybe that's a bit there because I'm turning, turning up the sign a bit more in that, which means I'm taking out the reds where there is blues. That may be a bit there. 
See, I'm just trying each one, so seeing what happens. And that's a good way of doing this. Now I'll leave that like that. And magentas, I don't think there's much, tends to be much in the way of magentas. You can't see much here. You can just see a little bit down the bottom here, which actually will turn the black up here. And now we come to an interesting part, which is the whites, the neutrals, the blacks. So now we look on the tones. So if I go to whites, and I can put colour into it, or I can just move this here. Now, see, if I turn this, the blacks down, I get more white, which brings out the whites in here. Usually with these, you don't have to move them so much. But it brings out that contrast more with the red next to it. I'm going to go to blacks next, come back to neutrals. And watch if I turn up the blacks here. See, it very, very quickly goes there. So I can turn it a little bit. In fact, if I hover over here and move my mouse wheel, I can turn it one at a time. See, just a couple there is all you need to say, bring some more black into this post here. Then let's go to neutrals. And the neutrals are now are cover most of the picture. So again, you can be very, very careful with this because we can put tints into things. So I turn that a little bit that way, goes warmer. The other way it goes a little bit colder. Let's cool it down a bit. There's a lot of warm in here. With magenta, in effect, we turn down magenta, which turns up green a bit. Let's try that. So that's not bad. And this one, see that makes it warmer that way. So make it a little bit cooler this way. And what about this? No, we'll just leave it like that. So that's not bad. Look at the way now that we've gone from this to this. We just brought up those colours. One more way that we can do this now to improve this. I'll zoom into this to show you this. And that's to use a bit of sharpening. So I'll go to the live filters here. I'll go to the unsharp mask. Now then, I need something to look at when I do that. So I'm going to look at the bricks here. And normally what I do is start around about one radius and then bring up the factor. But it's not doing much. I've not got enough radius in it. So I need to bring up the radius more. So I turn the factor up a bit higher. I bring the radius up until I start seeing something happening. Then move back to the factor and adjust that. I'd never want to overdo it, but it's going to be a little bit better. Control zero brings me back out again. Here we go. I can turn the that on and off. See, that's that's brought it out a bit more as well, hasn't it? So there we go. The difference between the original and the finished one. Like that. That's it. And thank you very much for watching.